Come here, buddy. I got him. They finally let the captain catch one today. Unbelievable. Every time we come in, every time we're coming in, we find something, a floating board. <laughs> oh, he came off. No, dude. I don't know that it matters. Oh yeah. It's going to matter boys. So check it out, dudes. It is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day. This is going to be very interesting. This is the first trip back after Hurricane Michael, and I'm thinking that this hurricane blew a bunch of big fish in. All right. Let's go make it happen. Traditionally in the past, after a major hurricane like what we just had, it's going to blow all these fish in like grouper, mahi. There should be a lot of floating debris out there, so it'll be real interesting to see what this storm surge brought in from way out. I'm hoping he's got some bait this morning. Check out all those little swimmers in there. We got two live wells full. So we just got out here. Uh, we saw some weed patches on the way out, but no mahi on them. And what we're gonna do now is drop in this 200 foot of water and see if we can catch some scamp or some grouper and hope that this storm blew some of those fish like that in. So that's what we're gonna do right now while we're looking for mahi and, wahoo, uh, mahi and wahoo and stuff like that. We got our first fish coming up right here. Clay said it feels like dead weight. Actually, Brian just hooked up on this side first two drops right here so dead weight's a good thing man dead weight's a good thing yeah look what do you got look 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 there he is get him in the boat scamp there that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about very first drop guys nice scamp uh man that's a good sign if that's how things are going to be today so i'm super stoked about that see what brian's pulling up his is fighting a little bit differently so i'm thinking red snapper what about you brian yeah i'm thinking so it's definitely some head butting going on so. eagle for sure yeah that's a snapper darn it let's see if uh oh yeah he's he's plenty legal but we're gonna measure him just to be sure but he's plenty legal Got us another keeper right there. Big white snapper. That's a nice one. That butterfly jig is, is doing it. Every drop that Brian's sending that butterfly jig down, he's getting hammered. Let's see what this is. What is, what is that? What, what, what do you have, dude? Is that like a hound fish? Whatever. <laughs> Look at that. I caught something different than a snapper. <laughs> That's a creepy, I think that's a houndfish, man. It's like a, that is a, I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, but look at him. He doesn't, that's not jaws. His mouth is just in the front. Found them. <laughs> the, the mouth is in the yeah. front. He looks like an aardvark. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that little guy is an odd duck right there. <laughs> we were kind of hoping for a scamp slash grouper. There you go, Brian. Nice, nice catch. <laughs> Yo, hey, catch and cook. <laughs> Who wants to go first? <laughs> Sashimi. Ah, uh, man, All I'm right, good. The we got a little, uh, oh, oh, we a little floating uh, barrel or something out here. We thought, oh, there he is, fish on. We thought there'd be mahi all over it. It's nothing but Almaco jacks. That's it. Tons of Almaco jacks. All right, boys. I'm dropping me a cigar minute down on this big Talica 25. I think there's some groupers and stuff down there that are letting us have it. Come here, buddy. I got him. They finally let the captain catch one today. Ugh. I don't know what I got. But I got it to the bite. It's coming up super smooth, guys. This could be a big gag grouper. Can we get one good fish up without getting sharp today? That's what I want. I just dropped a little live cigar minute to the bottom. And he smoked it. I don't know that it matters. Oh, yeah. 
It's gonna matter, boys. That's a big gag. Get the net, Brian. Get the net. Hurry. <laughs> 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 oh god we're gonna need a bigger net oh i don't think we're gonna need to measure him <laughs> look at this bad boy right here that is a big gag grouper man we kept getting busted off i put on some heavier stuff it wasn't happening again and we got this bad boy that's a tasty tasty fish right there man look at him Mountain. all right so that was a big grouper i'm dropping down again because i'm gonna get another one right here that's not the only one down there look at that vermilion brian just caught <laughs> that's a monster that is a good one there man there's a ton of fish on this spot we're doubled up right now brian's got another one coming He's that's a good one there, Brian. On the butterfly jig. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh my God, dude. I just almost screwed that up. <laughs> That's a nice scamp there, man. There he is, guys. Nice scamp, man. That's going to be some good, uh, good tasting fish tonight, man. That's a pretty one right there. Going high. Cool. Yep. Clay just hooked a stud. So if, if this is not a shark, it is going to be a monster grouper, man. I'm telling you. It is going to be a stud grouper if it's not a shark. He's act. I mean, it's, it's just really tough to say right now. There he is, guys. Big shark right there. I mean, a nice one. All right. Let's take care of this bad boy right here. Stupid shark. So we are officially headed back right now. And if you'll remember the last two trips I went out with Brian, both trips on the way back, we found Mahi Mahi on floating boards. So I'm hoping that we're gonna have a repeat. It's super calm, so it should be easy, um, should be easy to see them. So we're gonna start cruising in right now. We're about 30 miles off the beach. Got some, got some pretty, uh, pretty groceries in the box there. Scamp, some gags, some gigantic vermilion, so be eating good. Oh, yep, yeah, there's triple tail. Look how many triple tail are on it. One, Holy man. cow, there's a lot of triple tail on it. I have not uh, uh, not seen a mahi yet. That does not mean anything. Nothing but triple tail on it, and they're not even big ones. They're small ones, man. I thought we had found a gold mine here. I literally thought that we had found a gold mine and uh, there's just no mahi in our water today, man. Found a weed line with none, found a barrel with none, and a floating fad. It's just not going to happen. They're just, uh, water, water quality must be wrong for them or something. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's a little baby. World's smallest triple tail right here. <laughs> We made it back, no mahi, but we did not come back empty handed. So I'm not upset. We're gonna pull up here, clean some fish, and hopefully we're gonna cook them tomorrow night at Brian's house. Cleaning bag here. All right, let's go, let's go clean some fish. Thanks for watching my video, guys. There's gonna be a two-part series to this video because tonight I'm headed to Brian's Beach Condo and we're gonna cook all this fish up a bunch of different ways. So I'm gonna video that as well. So be looking for that this week. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, hit the link below in the description, subscribe to that. Uh, and that channel is, I go, I talk about business, I talk about my finances, I talk about my personal story and much, much more. Hope you guys have a great weekend.